Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more help with math when it comes to third, fourth, and fifth grade math, at the end of this video, I will point you in the right direction for tons of videos that can help make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. The question type that we will be focusing on this week is drum roll. Equation editor. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. Welcome back fifth grade, let's go over this one. So it says, Mrs. Adams purchases a new welcome mat to place near the front door. The length of the mat is 7 tenths of a meter and the width is 3 tenths of a meter. Find the area of the welcome mat in square meters. So I'm gonna model this real quick down here with a drawing. So she has a welcome mat For your copy, I'm gonna go ahead and add where it says purchases a new rectangular welcome mat. I'll add that little bit there because that should be included so that way you know it's in the shape of a rectangle, okay? All right, so we know that the length is 7 tenths of a meter, that's our length, and the width is 3 tenths of a meter, okay? So what I'm doing is I need to multiply those two. The length times the width will give us the area. Or said another way, the area equals the length times the width. So if I plug in those values, I know I'm trying to find the area. The length is what? 7 tenths of a meter times the width, which is 3 tenths of a meter. Excellent. And here we can use what we know about multiplication to say that we know that 7 times 3 is 21 because we're multiplying two amounts that are less than one we know that our product is also going to be less than one so because we have two digits one digit here and one digit here behind that decimal that means we're going to make two hops and our decimal is going to go right there so if we were to rewrite that that would be 0 0.21 that's not how i like to read it but it would be 21 hundredths square meter okay 21 hundredths of a square meter let's go plug that value in that would be tapping the zero the decimal point the two and the one so when you do that it looks like zero decimal point two one or 21 hundredths we cannot add the square meters term in here even though i highly encourage you to always include that in your answer for this particular problem with the equation editor we can't write the word square meters but it's intended right here in the directions that your answer, whatever value you include, would be the square meters. All right, go ahead and pause the video, jot down any notes that you still need to make, and when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to be intentional about your practice. And while you're practicing, make sure that you throw down your very best effort that you can give each and every time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye.